clues up and uh, paying attention for the next 15 minutes. Abonitas exist in the market for a little bit more than 70 years. Uh, we are working in a very diversified uh, segmentations and applications in oil and gas, in industrial gases, and in several applications, ESD systems, we spoke about it a little bit this morning, marine applications, chemical applications. I could speak here for two days, but I have only 15 minutes. So we will speak only about one big and interesting issue, it is a cryogenic valve uh, in the marine One more thing, very, very interesting. There are in the market something like 600 ball valves producers. We have a lot of competitors. From those 600 valves producers, something like 10%, it may be 60, can offer you a full portfolio of valves that the market is needing really. Dean, ANSI, metal seated valves, cryogenic valves, high pressure valves, high pressure and cryogenic and metal seated all together in one piece. This is what the LNG market is needing now. So in fact, third of them can do it. We are about 20 competitors. But in those 20 competitors, maybe half of them, 10, can offer you API, fireproof, EPD, PED, complete type approval, fugitive emission. So we remain 10. And from those 10, maybe three are open to hear you and to do what you really need. From 600 suppliers, maybe three are thinking out of the box. So we are here speaking about the bunkering application, but you know all around the bunkering application there are a lot of applications we did not speak about. There are applications in LNG terminals. Somebody needs to provide the valve for the LNG terminal. Do you think that the same valve for the LNG terminal that all you engineers are thinking about is the same valve if we do it? in a terminal sited in the north of Norway, or if the terminal is sited in Gibraltar. Because you always tell me that we are going to feel ambient temperature. And ambient temperature outside in Gibraltar is plus 40. And in Norway is minus 25. And the valve cannot be the same. In shipping applications, so, in shipping applications, high pressure valves and cryogenic for 500 bucks. Part of you are doing it in your engines. In energy tankers, in energy dispensers, somebody is filling the truck who is moving into the tank that he has in the track, the LNG, who is going to be in the terminal, who is going to provide the LNG into the ship. There are a lot of different applications for different type of valves in the small world of the LNG we are speaking about. And we have to bring the solution for all of them. And of course, one of the most important things is the speaking about the marketing, we are speaking about the dual fuel, we are speaking about the CO emissions. You are moving now with ships that are having engines in dual fuel. The valve should know how to deal with it because the media is different if we deal with gas or if we deal with fuel. So, we spoke about the different applications. We have different customers that are buying from us our valves. Part of them are engines producers, part of them are 
shipping producers, part of them are engine producers, part of them are pumps, heliogenic pumps producers. For all of them that you see here, we are providing valves, and the needs are completely different. The valve which is going to work in periogenic condition with 400 valve is not the same valve that is going to work with 16 valve, but both are for energy. So now, after those, this is inter introduction, we are going to speak about the big issue. I will tell you an history. Some years ago, something like two and a half, maybe three years ago, a very smart engineer who is working in one of the companies that is sitting here, came to me and told me, you know, Jackie, if we could have a ball valve without a relief pressure hole in the upstream, we could have the perfect product. It was really a challenge you know all the ball bands working in the LNG market has a whole relief in the ball in order to relieve the pressure in case that the LNG is changing its temperature, is changing its phase, and it is going to be in gas. So this is a ball band, and in this ball band you can see the ball opening and closing, and pay attention, now you see the hole in the upstream. I believe that most of you know what is the reason of this hole, because the ball valve has into the ball a cavity that in case the valve is closed and the temperature is changing, we need to relieve the media that we have into the ball. And we took the challenge There are in the market four different technologies by the way we produce and we sell all. For me, it's exactly the same. It is not a marketing presentation, it is a technology presentation. We can offer what you want. At the end of the day, I have to feed my children, so I am going to sell what you want. But I want you to know what we think is the better for you. I said there are four technologies. One are globalis, very good known by almost all of you. Ball valves, cranial valves, and documentary cranial valves. Those are the technologies that in general you use for most of the applications into the energy market. The global is one of the most popular. Let's do a small analysis about it. It is a complete bidirectional. You can install it from one side or from the other side. But the big issue is that this technology is providing you a low CV. The low CV is related to the small space that you have into the valve. And because this small space, we cannot design the pipe according to the pipe that we really wanted who is making, in fact, the definition of the size of the pipe is the CV of the valve. If we could use a valve with a bigger or higher CV, we would use, reduce the size of the valve. The second issue is the piping size. It matches exactly the CV of the valve. And it is a complex actuation because we need a linear actuator which is moving in this direction, but it's very good known in the market. Abonim came one day and said, okay, I took the challenge that though this engineer told me some years ago. So we did the first and the unique ball valve bidirectional without a hole in the upstream. So it is now bidirectional. Because it is complete open, we have a very good CV. It means that now you can design all your pipe depending of the CV of the pipe and not depending of the CV of the valve. You can reduce a lot of cost. 
The actuation is simpler because it is quarter turn. You move in 90 degrees. And all the package is cheaper by far than the options that are in the market. Those are the options. And again, we produce it, we sell it, we have a patent for it. In terms of maintenance, you can see that the bidirectional flow is simple, like the globis, but the trunnion and the top entry are, of course, more complicated. By the way, for you to know, the price in general of the top entry trunnion is three times more expensive than the simple globe or the simple bidirectional board. The size and the weight, the smaller is the bidirectional, the bigger is the globe and heavier, of course, the trunnion alternatives. In terms of torque level, the best one are the biggest because those are trunnion. And the control complexity, the more simple is the ball valve in the direction. At all, you are going to save money once you start using the technology that these engineers get me to bring you. You have to do it with ARC approvals always, so those are the type of approvals that we already have and we are already providing our valves with all of them. This is a very nice installation you are going to see. This is the last minute. Just look at this, how it appears. This is the Titan. We did the first and the second installation of all the valves in the Titan project. It is here in the Netherlands. All what you see are done with the bidirectional ball valve. We developed exactly for the application you are asking us to have. That's all we are going to be in the main room for the next two days with the stand, with the valves. You can touch it, you can see it, you can ask whatever you need. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jackie, for that presentation. And you're going to be around for the next two days. Yes. If people have questions. Superb.